one of the things that I think people overlook, because when I say it, you're going to roll your eyes, is the question of who is it for? Um, everyone knows like, okay, we have our customer avatar and I cannot tell you how many clients I've had where they literally had pictures on the wall of their marketing department of like who each of their segments were. And I cannot express this enough. It still didn't translate to how they wrote the newsletter. And so I, I've been obsessed with how and why this happens. And what I have found is that the who it's, there's, there's a who it's for that you tell the team and you public face. And then there's the truth, which is usually it's for your boss or it's for your competitors or it's to impress someone who isn't your target market. So I would encourage your marketing team to be really ruthlessly honest about the answer to this, because if it is just to impress your boss, that's totally fine, but don't expect it to sell anything. Just expect mm -hmm. it to make that person happy and deliver on what they want. So let's just be clear that your goals need to align with what it is doing.